There we go. Okay, Ben. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice to hear you. Uh, Arlo, well done today. Um, good performance. Um, I just wonder, um, you are now 16 matches unbeaten away from home in the Premier League. It's the longest run, actually, uh, since you were a player just over 20 years ago. And I just wondered, um, given that you were a part of that successful team, what it takes to have those big, long runs, whether you're getting similar feelings about this group now to perhaps you were 20, 22 years ago. Well, uh, it takes uh, good players. That's uh, that's the first thing. That uh, of course the players have deserved uh, the results, uh, and uh, the mood is getting better. The belief is there. Uh, you know, coming away from here with one point, and players are disappointed. Uh, that's it's a good feeling. There's a, there's a hunger in this team. Okay, Sam Lockhurst. Oh, Lee, I think you could have answered my question there by saying that the players were disappointed not to have won the game. But is that a real sign of progression that you've gone to Anfield, you possibly probably should have won given the chance you've had and you've not won, but you are still top of the table? I think it just shows at least we've come quite a bit uh, from when we were here last time. I know we're a bit disappointed in the performance as well, not just the result, because... Uh, you know, you have to really turn up. They're a very good side, very, very good side. Uh, today, they've had some injury problems and we didn't pounce on that uh, opportunity that uh, their uh, injuries gave us. But um, we felt we grew into the games, got stronger and stronger and were closest to winning it towards the end. Laurie Whitwell. Hi, Oli. Um, just on your team selection, was it a case of giving Liverpool a bit of a surprise in where Paul played? And do you feel that in the second half, you clearly stepped it up and had the best chances. Could that have happened earlier at all, do you think? We didn't play well in the first half at all. Uh, first half, sorry. Uh, and yeah, we could have, we grew more and more into the game. We, it takes time sometimes, you know, when you go away to difficult places like this is against a difficult or a good team to impose yourself on the game. We didn't do well enough to, um, to cause some problems first half, but we defended well and you didn't really feel that they were going to cause us too much uh, or they didn't cause too many chances either. At Paul's position, I, it was just something that we, um, we we thought that it was was going to suit him to play there today. And I thought it showed. I thought Paul was excellent. And uh, he uh, could have, should have had uh, the winner maybe. Joe Prince, right? Hi, Oli. Um, before the game, you spoke about belief. Um do you feel like that was maybe just lacking a little bit? Uh, and is that maybe the next step for your team uh, to believe you can go to a place like Liverpool and win? And how do you get to that next step? What's the key? Well, I think it showed throughout the game that the belief grew more and more. And uh, I think if we, next time we play them here, for example, or uh, after this experience, we feel, okay, we need to impose ourselves more on the game. We need to get on the ball, take a little bit, few more, not risks. Uh, I'm not saying risk, but we can we can do better, and I know that, and that's a good feeling to have. That I know that we can do better, and um, maybe once in a while you'll make a mistake, but uh, keep keep trying to to do the right things. Neil Custis. Oli, I've um, I've noticed in the last four games that there've been many ingredients from great teams in the sense of the patience that you show. I think maybe a year ago or 18 months ago, if things aren't going for you, you get frustrated, but you sort of show that patience and belief. I was thinking of Wolves particularly and Aston Villa. Yeah, I think it's patience, uh, but also uh, fitness. I think we're, we are getting stronger and fitter. And I think Paul is a prime example of a player who can last the games com now compared to what he did uh, earlier after his uh, illness. So... And the, the, the patience, yeah, we, we know that we've got players who, uh, who can win you, win you a game in a, in a blink of a second, and Bruno and Paul almost did. Uh, so, um, I've, but I think everyone was a bit disappointed in the way we started the game. So, that's, it's also a good feeling to have, that we're disappointed with the performance. Brad Cox? Brad? Hi, Ollie, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. 
I'm just wondering what your reasoning was for bringing off Bruno towards the end of the game and bringing on uh, Greenwood. And then also, has Luke Shaw progressed so much because of the introduction of Alex Tellers this year? Um. It was a tactical decision. Bruno, obviously, he's, he's been running his socks off for us uh, every single game since he's come. Uh, he's been here and he's been running more or less every game. So uh, towards the end, we felt uh, Paul's physical presence in there might be a might be a chance for us. And Mason, you know, when he gets a chance, he'll, he can score in the blink of a second. So it was a bit of a uh, throw of the dice to get Mason on, uh, even though we, uh, we had to defend against uh, uh, Robertson. And Luke, he's improved immensely. I thought today he shows his strength, quality, uh, composure on the ball, and uh, delighted with his performance, definitely. Okay, I think that's it. There's no more hands raised. Thank you very much. See you later.